Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys Evelyn's pre-K science activity notebook that I made for her. If you're interested in seeing what all I have in this little activity book, stay tuned. Okay, so this was something that was pretty simple to put together. Um, basically, everything that's in here was just free printables that I found on either uh, Teacher Paid Teachers or Pinterest or just different websites that I just looked for for free. I also pulled aside a few of the books that I'm going to be using as references for some of the lessons. So as far as science goes with Evelyn, um, we only do science every Friday. Some of these lessons, like for instance, the first lesson was all about Evelyn. Um, we got to talk about her date of birth, what her name is, how many letters her name has. She got to draw a little self-portrait here. Um, we did a handprint, a footprint, um, and then she just got to draw a few things about herself. Um... So this lesson here, the first lesson, I was able to expand this lesson lesson within three days. Um, so that was pretty much the whole first month of school that we did this lesson um, because we do do it only once a week. We do it Fridays. Um, so that is our first lesson. And these printables are from Lavinia Pop. And you can find her on Teacher Paid Teachers. Um, then we went into Five Senses. These pages, I can't remember if I found them on... Um, I think Pinterest and then this one is from totschooling.net so when it comes to five senses all we really did was we watched a YouTube video we got to uh, go through this book and we just kind of talked about the what each sense did and um, how it works and I love this book I want to say we got this book at Costco but I can't remember um, but it's a really cute book and it's just called The Sensational Senses. So that is what we kind of, we kind of just went through that book and we talked about different senses. And this lesson, I broke it up into two different days. So two different Fridays. Um, and like I said, we watched the video as well. So this one was just a matching activity. And then this one uh, was a cut and paste. Then we moved into my body system. We were able to complete this part of it. And this is just a little totschooling.net booklet that I just stuck in here. And when it comes to this, we used a few different books. We used Me and My Body. Um, and then we've also moved into The Human Body. And this is a Scholastic book. And then this one is a Explore and Learn from the Southwestern Company. And all these I just found used at Goodwill. This one we've been using a little bit more because it actually um, talks about pretty much everything. It talks about the bones. It talks about your skin. It talks about... Um, Pretty much everything. So we've been using this one quite a bit for these lessons. Um, the developmental stages of the pregnancy. We haven't gotten into this one. These two, these here are from the preschoolmom.com. Now this, she sells it in a pack. Um, I believe it's a science sequencing pages. But I got them for free with the read curriculum. So I bought the boys the read curriculum a couple years back. And it just kind of came with these little science sheets. Um, so I got them for free, but um, this is something you can purchase and it comes with a bunch of them and I'll, I'll show you guys them as we go. So all we do with this or all I'm going to do with this really is either show her a video. She's also, um, we're also going to go through this book here and it kind of just shows the beginning stages of the fetus and the baby and the stages of um, how it goes from just cells to a baby. Um, so we're going to kind of just go through that and then she's going to get to just kind of sort, um, cut these out and sort them out. And if she wants to color it, she'll color it. So that is um, one of the pages that we're going to be uh, doing. And then I did find this printable and this I just found it like on Google Images and I printed it out. So it just kind of tells you what your body needs the um, and then the growth and development of each stage of the pregnancy which I thought was kind of cute. So I figure I can just read from here to Evelyn. So just let her know um, how to, you know, how a mother is going to take care of her body and how the baby's growing. Um, and then the next one would be childhood stages. And this too is from preschoolmom.com. And uh, this one, she would just have to sort it out. And for this one here, we'll probably go more into this book. Um, and this is uh, the body book for girls. And we'll probably just read a little bit out of this book, um, at least some of the beginning um, pages. 
and just kind of talk to her about taking care of her body and how her body's going to be changing and things like that. Still obviously keep it pretty age appropriate. And then here she would just have to sort out uh, what comes first, what comes next, and then third. And then from there, um, she's going to get to do a little timeline. And this, I can't remember where I found. I think I found it on Teacher Pay Teachers. But it's just a little timeline from the time she was born, when she was a certain age, and then today. So she'll just get to draw herself, and then I can, maybe she can tell me what, um, something to write, like when she was a baby. I don't know if she remembers too far back, um, when she was like two or three, and then today. And then I'm just going to probably jot down some notes as to what she liked to do at those stages of her life. Um, and then all I really did was I found some little uh, flashcards. And so these, um, we can just kind of cut them out and I can just have her sort them out if she wants, or we can figure out different things that we can do with these little cards. And these, I can't remember either where I got them. Um, and then we get into the stages of life. So again, this would kind of just go hand in hand with everything that we've been talking about. So here we just go from a child to a teenager to an adult. And again, she can just color that. And these two are from preschoolmom.com. Okay, then we go into the uh, bean sprout or the life of a plant. So th these are from the preschoolmom.com as well. And they're just a little sorting um, activity. So we go from the seed to the seed with the root and then the little stalk here um and then we get to create a little greenhouse um and plant a little lima bean and then we get we have a little observing uh log so we get to figure out what it looks like she gets to draw it on the little bean um what her plant is looking like on each day of the week and then we do have um little a little sorting activity so it comes with little um um flashcards and so with these here we're just going to use them for the lesson and it's two pages yeah so it's two pages and uh, we get to talk about what a plant needs and the parts of a plant and then with that kind of lesson we do have these little um, toys that we can use to kind of show the different stages of the plant when it goes from a little seed to the actual plant um, so we have things like this I don't have any books that really uh, talks about plants besides this one but this one goes pretty in depth uh when it comes to plants and what they need and how they grow and um just different things and this is a book called flowers and trees and this is by the child's first library learning books and these i just found used at um goodwill so that's how we're going to go as far as these types of activities and let me move that here and then we go to the stages and then we move into the stages of a bird and again, this is from preschoolmom.com and it would just be um, her sorting uh, what goes first, what goes next, and then what happens um, with the baby birds. Um, we tend to find a lot of birds nests outside of my house. So there's one that I had found last time that I saved. So we'll probably look at that nest, how it's made. Um, and then there's like a little coloring book that I printed out for her and I can't remember. I think I found this on Pinterest somewhere. And then there's also a little matching game that I found on Pinterest where you get to match um, the birds to the eggs. So we'll get to probably watch some videos on YouTube um, about birds and nests and all that sweet stuff. And then we move into the butterfly stages. Um, these two are from preschoolmom.com. And this one here is just a sorting um, activity. And for these pages here, um, I do have these two books here. I have an Usborne book about insect life. So we'll probably um, look into this book a little bit, read um, out of this, maybe read The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. And um, when when it comes to us, um, we, t we have a, a lizard and we also have rats that like to eat super worms and mealworms. We've done it before where we've allowed one of our worms turn into the beetle. We might end up doing that just so we can watch it. Um, so this book here kind of goes through the life cycle of a moth or a, a mealworm. Um, but it just kind of shows the different stages and how it's um, somewhat similar to the different stages of a butterfly, a moth, a bee, and just different things like that. So it makes a little bit of a comparison and it shows you a few, a few different things that you can do like experiments. So we might end up, instead of doing a butterfly, we might end up doing a mealworm um, because that's usually what we have on hand. Um, so along with this, she also gets to do a little craft where she gets to um, paint one side of the butterfly and then we fold it over. Um, so it's just a little symmetry type of craft. And then she also has, um, she also, I printed out for her some um, butterfly life cycle flashcards and these were from the curriculumcastle.com. And uh, so we get to just do different activities with this. We also have 
these here so we get to look at these and um sort them out uh like what comes first what goes um second and then what comes third and just kind of match them up and then she also gets to do another little craft where we get to do um I don't know if you guys have seen it where you use like rice or different things to represent the egg and then here the little, uh, little uh, macaroni noodle to represent the caterpillar and then one of the little shell noodles to represent the chrysalis and then the butterfly would be the little bow tie noodles so she's gonna get to do that little craft here and, and then we go into the stages of a chicken. Now for this activity, here's another sorting mat from, or a sorting activity from the preschoolmom.com. I also printed out a few other um, little books that I found, um, free printables. I, and I, uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff is just stuff I found on Pinterest for free. So that's just a little book that I printed out for her that she can color and then we get to read the little story. And then here she has a little cal calendar and um, we're not gonna actually um, incubate an egg, but what I'm gonna have her do is, um, we'll probably extend this lesson for a couple of days. She has a little picture here that I found also like on Google Images, I think it was. And um, what I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna have her just kind of draw it. We do have the chick life cycle, and these are from the learning resources. And it just kind of gives you day by day what the little, um, the inside of the egg is gonna look like and it's just a little sticker that's on the egg so we get to look at it and just see the different stages and what I'm gonna have her do on her eggs here is just have her draw what it looks like so for day one what does it look like on day two what does it look like so she's pretty good about drawing so we'll just have her do that and then obviously on day 21 you have your little chick um, and that would be that one there obviously um, so we try, I try to keep it somewhat hands-on and somewhat um, just kind of fun. I might even find a little video on um, YouTube somewhere with the egg being incubated and just kind of watch that since I don't have a book on that. Here would be the stages of a plant. Um, this one here was obviously going to go with the bean sprout, but this one goes more into like a flower. So that one again, we'll probably end up using this book um, for that activity. And again, we just sort it out. And these again are for preschoolmom.com. And then I found a few different activities on Pinterest. So this one here, she gets to label it. Um, this is the page that shows you, this is actually a sorting mat. So we, um, it's really hard to see, but it has little lines. So we cut this out and then we just kind of get to put it together like a puzzle and then label it. Um, and then obviously once she does that, she can draw it on here and we can try our hardest to have her label it. Um, and then this one here is another just kind of sequencing um, activity. And these here are from homeschoolcreations.com. And it's just, um, all what I would have to do is cut them out and then just have her sort them. So it's just a little sort. And then uh, the next page is Chipmunk Sleeps. And this is part of the preschool uh, mom.com. So it just kind of talks about a little chipmunk and the, um, the stages, I, I believe going into winter, how they collect food and they burrow and live under, um, underground. And then we get to do a little chipmunk activity. This is just a little craft that we get to do. And for this one, for this activity here, I found a book called Chipmunk at Hollow Tree Lane. And this is a little story about a chipmunk and it kind of, it's an educational book. So it talks about um, how they pretty much store food for the winter and how they go underground to live. Um, and it's a really cute little series of books. I have a few of these. And then I also have this book that I found at Goodwill and it's called The Earth Calendar. Um, and it just kind of talks about the different um, stages of the weather and... Um, how it changes, the, uh, how the earth looks and how animals live in the different uh, stages of weather. So here it shows all the animals that burrow underground in the winter time for their homes. And um, it's actually pretty interesting. And this I found at Goodwill. Um, so we'll get to kind of look into this book when, once we get to this little topic here. And then we go into the stages um, or the life cycle of a frog. So for this one again, it's from preschoolmom.com. This kind of stuff you can find pretty much anywhere. Um, so with this one here is just a little sorting activity and then we have some little cards that I found and these are from Curriculum Castle as well and uh, she gets to do a little craft where she gets to build a little, um, a little frog, little just activity and then, um, 
So along with this, we also have these little guys here. So we get to talk about the different stages from the egg to the tadpole to the little um, tadpole with legs to the little froglet and then the frog. So these are just um, little fun activities that we can do. I don't have an actual book on this, but I'm sure there's a ton of stuff that I can find on YouTube. Um, or if I can go to the library and find something on the life cycle of a frog. Um, and then we move into the hedgehog um, sleeps where again we can just kind of read from this book again because I think it, ta it taps into a little bit of that as well. And then um, for the hedgehog activity all it is is a little sorting activity from preschoolmom.com and then she gets to create a little craft with a hedgehog. And for this one here... Um, I think it's a poking activity where she has to poke it from the backside and it makes it prickly so it has a texture. I think that's what this is. I can't remember, but I found this on Pinterest somewhere. Um, and then we go into the um, seasons. So we go into the seasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for this here, I have this book, which is the child's uh, first library of learning. And this is the weather. Um, this one we'll probably be using quite a bit for the next couple of lessons that we do. Um, so we go from seasons. <clears throat> So this here would just be the flashcards that we use. And then she has a few different activities that I found for free. This one here is just uh, another sorting activity where she would just have to cut out summer, winter, spring, and then just kind of match it up to the wet, to the season. And then this one here is just a little matching activity. This one here was from education.com. So she would just have to uh, match like for winter what it is that you do. So it's snowman, fall would be the pumpkin. So it's just a little matching activity. Um, and then this one here is just a little coloring activity that she gets to do. And then this one's another sorting activity and the little uh, pieces are back here. And then this one she gets to paint with her fingers. Um, it's like a little finger painting. So she gets to do the summer, winter, spring and fall. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen that where you just kind of use different color paints for your fingers to paint the leaves in. So that's what we're going to do here. And then obviously we're going to label it. Um, and then this one here, she gets to just draw her favorite season in here. Um, and then, so this one, all she really have to do is look at the little picture up here. And then just kind of label it if it would be hot, uh, cold, uh, kind of mild or whatever. So she would just have to color in what she thinks the weather would be like if the weather looked like this or how the temperature would be like. So on this one here, we would just get to absorb the uh, observe the weather for a whole entire week. And uh, it comes with little, um, little things that she can cut out and glue them um, depending on how the weather looks for that whole entire week that we do this. And this here, I can't remember where I got it. I want to say I got this on Teacher Paid Teachers. This one here, she has a little sorting activity where she has a hot weather and cold weather. And then she has these little cutouts on this side. So she gets to just kind of cut them out and glue them depending on what she thinks it's gonna, where it goes. This one I printed on cardstock, so it's going to be more like little flashcards. So we have the different vocabulary words that we would be talking about for the, our weather unit. And then this one here, she has a little um, weather wheel that she gets to just kind of put together. And then we start talking about the uh, water cycle. Um, and I believe this book, I think, taps into that a little bit. So we'll get to continue working with this book. Um, so this one here is just like a little poster that I printed out for her. And I printed it on cardstock so we can uh, put it on the wall somewhere. And then she just gets to label this with the one, two, and three as to what what goes first what goes second and what goes third um so this one here is just a little coloring page that she got with the what for the water cycle and then we get to talk about clouds um so these are just little flash cards that i printed out for her and um these here are just bigger flash cards so we get to sort out our clouds and just kind of sort them out where um or what they look like or what they fall under, I guess, what category they would fall under. So these are just little sorting mats. On this one here is just a little craft that she gets to do. Um, and this one we either are going to paint it on here or we're going to use cotton balls. And we're going to um, just kind of add the clouds as to what they look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and write down what they are and how they're different. Um, and then this one here says when I look at the clouds, I see. And then she gets to draw something. This is from polka dot check polka dots check and stripes and uh, I think I found this on teacher pay teachers and then we talk about the rainbow and the different stages of a rainbow and what creates a rainbow and we might be able to um 
just talk about this a little bit more and maybe find a YouTube video on that. And then she gets to make her own rainbow here. And that's basically it. That is her science notebook. So that is her science, her little science notebook. Um, now, when it comes to the way I put this together, I didn't put it in any really specific order. I kind of just went on Pinterest and looked up preschool science themes. And I just started creating a list and then I just kind of put the little notebook together. And then I'm just kind of using books that I already have in my library to kind of go with the um, activities. Um, if you guys have questions on anything, feel free and let me know. Um, I'm going to try to link as much as I can on the description box. Um, but like I said, it's something that should be pretty easy to find on just Pinterest. Just like I said, if you look up preschool activity, uh, science activities. Um, again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.